What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another Minute Study Tip. Today, we are talking about implementing the process of deep practice when studying for a standardized test. So what is deep practice? Deep practice is a term that was coined by Daniel Coyle, the author of one of my favorite books, The Talent Code. Deep practice is the general idea that when studying, you wanna break down these large tasks into smaller bite-sized pieces, really focus, really pay attention, and force yourself to practice in a way that forces you to make mistakes, evaluate those mistakes, and then try again. Now this is the ultimate formula for really and truly mastering mathematics. But there's two other important essential elements of deep practice. Number one is you have to have an ignition point. This is a launching pad for you to develop a passion for whatever you're pursuing. Now that may seem difficult when you're prepping for a standardized test, but I believe that if you look at it and approach it like a game that can be won, you can achieve that ignition. The second important component is that you must find a master coach. And now a master coach for you may be different than a master coach for somebody else. It's a personal fit and it's all about chemistry as well as them having a masterful understanding of the topic matter. The most interesting part about deep practice is it not only enables you to perform well on a test, but it actually changes your brain chemistry. Pushing yourself in this way increases the amount of myelin in your brain. Myelin is a fatty tissue that spindles around your neurons, which actually enables signals to travel faster, making you essentially smarter. If you want to know more about how to be the ultimate student, make sure to check out more of my minute study tips right here. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take it easy.